Hi everyone, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to upload a Excel file to SAS Studios Online or SAS Academics, SAS On Demand for Academics. So this is a cloud version of SAS, so you need to upload any data sets to the cloud server before you can import it for analysis. So the first step, after you log in, is under server files and folders you'll want to navigate over to the files subfolder right over here and you can unnest it and what you'll see is under that subfolder you'll have a folder called data and this is a good place to go ahead and store all of your data sets so what you're going to do is right click select upload files and this is the file path to your data folder right over here make a note of this you'll click choose files and this and navigate over this is the file that I want to use FNES 702 survey I'm going to double click and then I'm going to select upload and now you'll see that this file this Excel file is ready to uh, be imported now I'm going to open up code here and this is the PROC import code and I'll put this code in the comments so that you can practice on your own and what you'll want to do is change some of the parameters so I want this file to be called FNES I want it this is the file path where it's where the file is has been uploaded to uh, this is a point to this is where I told you to make a note but if you're not sure where it is that's okay because you can always just right click on the file here and go to properties and this will tell you exactly where the file has been uploaded to so I'm going to copy that paste it in between the parentheses we know that it's an XLSX file and the sheet name is FNES 702 SUR survey we will go ahead run the code and here's our data set so we were very successful so like I said again the reason why we need to upload is because this is a cloud environment and you will go ahead and upload by selecting the folder that you want to go to select upload files choose the file that you're interested in click upload and then use this code right here the proc import code to bring it into your environment so that you can perform your analysis okay thanks